Hey everybody, it is Paint Pouring Sandy, and in this video, um, I am going to be making some feather coasters, and uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I learned this technique uh, recently, and uh, this is going to be my first set of coasters with uh, this technique, so I'm really excited. I did one here that I want to show you an idea of what this will look like. Um, I know... Uh, uh, Gina DeLuca has uh, made them. I know some other artists that I follow have also made them um, after seeing uh, Gina do it. So this was a really cool idea that I wanted to share with y'all and see what your thoughts are as well. So um, I've got six colors I'm going to be working with tonight. Um, it's going to be brushed rose gold. This is a custom um, kind of baby blue color. Um, this is Color Shift, uh, Purple Flash, uh, Phalo Green, Brushed Antique Gold, and uh, Caribbean. Uh, I'm going to put down a base layer of white uh, on my piece. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of string, which I just purchased this particular one at Walmart. Um, it was 2 or $3. It was one of the cheapest things of string that I could find there. And um, we're going to use this string to pull through and make our feathers. Uh, I think that this one turned out really, really cool. And I'm going to try and duplicate something similar on these other three. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Something similar as long as it's got the same colors to make this a set. So, uh, like I said, I'm pretty excited about this and can't really wait to see how this all turns out. So, hope you'll uh, stay with me and see how this goes. And I'm just going to torch this real quick, get some of my air bubbles out of here. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down my colors. This string here is the string that I had used on this one. So I'm just going to lay the string in all the colors that I'm going to put down here on just some freezer paper. Um, and I'm going to use a fresh piece of yarn to do so. Just because I want it to be um, a fresh take on this. One thing I did learn with that is I want to try and maybe space my colors out um, just a little bit more because otherwise they like to kind of bleed into each other. Um, I should note all of my colors have oil, um, treadmill silicone oil in them. Um, and they've all been pre-mixed with Floetrol. Floetrol um, and maybe a little bit of water if they really truly need it are the only additives that I use in any of my paints. So the ratio of water and Floetrol, uh, well the ratio of Floetrol and paint will change sometimes um, depending on the thickness of my paint to begin with. Um, but uh, I don't really have to use a whole lot of water. Okay. 
Awesome. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my string and I'm going to dip it in these paints to get them fully covered. I just really love how well uh, these colors all played together on that first feather I did over there. So, all right. One thing I also did on that one was I like put the end of my string almost right at uh, the edge and what I want to do is kind of bring it down just a little bit here. I just want to wipe this off and I want to get these paints back on here trying to keep them relatively in those same spots I think this worked better here. All right. You want to try and lay this back down in the same position. And then just drag this back up here. I want to try and get some of the white off here. Just drag this back down. Actually, I want to lay that back in these paints, which I'm going to need. more of my copper there or rose gold all right Now, if you have like a little toothpick or I mean a little um, popsicle stick or even a regular size popsicle stick, one thing that I found with that one that I can kind of do is come back here and dip it in my colors. needed here. That was 
wasn't really what I was going for there. Let's see. I'm just kind of beefing up this side here a little bit. Sorry, y'all, I got a cold. And then what we'll do here at the end is we'll just take a little bit of one of our colors here on a toothpick and just kind of make some of these real fluffy feathers. did them in a couple of colors on that first one. All right. I'm not quite sure yet what exactly I want to do right here in the middle of this one, but I will We'll figure something out um, to do there. It'll it'll be pretty cool. It'll be really fun. I just want to quickly torch this over the colors. Again, I'm not trying to scorch my paints or anything like that. So. I just want to come back and add some more gold because it's kind of getting lost um, here.
that one. Want some more of this purple in here. More drops of this halo green. And a few more drops of Caribbean as well. And I, just like I've done on my Floetrol, um, I have added a little screen to my white. I was noticing in some of my last negative space pieces that I was getting clumps. And I knew it wasn't from my Floetrol and it was only happening in my white, so I've decided to add a filter to my white paint as well. Um, and I have noticed that it's been so much smoother. For those of you who think I still don't get my hands dirty, I do. <laughs> Quite a bit. Alright. So. Gonna get these rolled back in here. Another. Drop of that. a little bit closer to the end here. try and lay it back down at least kind of similar to where you had it and then again we're just gonna pull this up here I'm just going to lay this back down here. I want to try and match that same line.
this gold is just kind of getting eaten away here. that I like actually kind of how faint the gold is right back there um, and because of that I think that's what I will go ahead and do my little end tufted feathers in here one here. I'm going to put down some more of this rose gold here. needs to be more so in there. And then I'm going to dip this back in here. Kind of get it, make sure it's all coated. turned out really great I think and again I just want to get these or this string coated back in these colors Swing this right back on up here. Oh, awesome. And I'm going to get as much of that white off as I can. Dip this one last time in here. 
in my colors. Try and follow that line. All right. And on these last two. I didn't torch it first, so just want to quickly torch out any bubbles that there could be. And again, you're not wanting to scorch your paint. You're not trying to dry it faster or anything like that, so... Just for the sake of argument, I'm going to turn this one around too, just so it matches the direction of these other ones here. But I really love how these all turned out. Um, I think this is going to make a really cute set uh, for someone, and I have really enjoyed making these. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this. Uh, if you do, I always appreciate a like, um, a share, a subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and then if you've got questions on how I did anything, you want to know more, uh, anything at all, you found an easier way, anything like that, uh, drop me a comment and I do my best to get back to my comments uh, as quickly as possible. So uh, again, I appreciate y'all so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I had so much fun making these. And I am looking forward to seeing how they dry and seeing what we end up with. Like I said, this was just so much fun. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you stay tuned for the next video. Have a great night.